Okay, everybody, it's about 1.02 Central Time, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I know we will have more people logging in shortly, but uh, for joining me on the webinar today. This is another one of our Exit Share My Screen ones. We're going to be doing a lot of these coming up. We've got one on Wednesday with Danny Lewis. That's going to be a Stars of Exit one. He's going to be talking to you about the uh, importance of Zillow reviews, how to get your reviews up, and some really great strategies there. So we're super excited to have that coming from him. Um, but today we are talking about a couple different things relating to text message codes um, and what you can do with your digital business cards. So really focusing on some paperless things, some text-based techniques to get your business really up and going uh, and do some really creative stuff with it. So. Uh, as we continue to get a couple more people here on the line, what we're going to start with is I want you to think more globally in terms of what your marketing looks like right now and how you can be more influential using tech uh, and technology, specifically texting. Uh, I think what we are kind of seeing overall, not just with millennials, but with all aspects of society, is that so many people are moving away from phone, they're moving away from paper. Um, you know, when you, you call someone, they, get, they, uh, you, they send you right to voicemail. Uh, and how does that relate to you in your business world? And how often are you stuck in your business world going out into a meeting and realizing you forgot business cards, even though I really hope that doesn't happen that much? Uh, I see that a lot. It's, oh, I forgot a business card. Or, oh, there's too many people in the room. Or I want to be able to give everybody my business card at once because there's 200 people in a room, or there's 20 people in a room in a networking environment. So I want you to think more globally about how you can influence people and, and really show people that you are a, a tech leader using texting. So we're going to go ahead and get started. First off, I want to talk about signage because uh, I'm looking at some signage uh, all over the industry right now that is kind of brutal. Um, I use smart signs at this point. My signs have evolved over the years a number of times, and I want to show you what my current sign looks like. And again, for those of you guys that are um, on the call right now, you can see this sign. Um, this is a um, exit realty sign, just a standard one that uh, we have that you can get through Laura, and uh, it's very easy, and it has my information on it. It has uh, my Google Voice number which you can text to, and a lot of people are putting their cell phone number on instead. Uh, either way, and then at the bottom it says, for full details, text EXIT to 85377. Again, text EXIT to 85377. So you're seeing that information on there, text EXIT to 85377. And what that's telling people is you don't have to call me, because guess what, most people are not calling you anymore. They don't want to call you. They don't want to be sold information. They just want to go out here and simply text people for information. Here's what this is going to do for you, is that when you put this text message technology into your sign, and there's two ways to do it, it's going to allow you to get more leads because these leads are always going to go directly to you. If you, no matter what brand you're at, have the office phone number on your sign, I have no idea why you're doing that anymore. You should have only your cell phone number or Google Voice number, or if you're a big team, your team master number, which is probably going to be a Google Voice number. That's what you should have on there. And then as far as what you should have on there beneath it, you should have a text message code. Now, the text message code that I'm talking about is this text exit, E-X-I-T, to 85377. That's our new geolocational sign technology. Every time something goes in the MLS, Every time something goes in the MLS at any of our offices, when you then text exit to 85377, that is figuring out where that person is on their cell phone because they're obviously outside the sign and that information is going directly to them. So they're gonna get the price, they're gonna get the photos, they're gonna get the details on this property. And then you as the agent, you as the agent are going to go in and you're gonna get their cell phone number. So that's a huge asset. You're going to go ahead and get their cell phone number, and that's going to dramatically help you in obviously turning around and getting more leads. And that's what we're all here for, right? So let's go in beyond just the signage, and let's go in really on what we're talking about today, which is the mobile business card and exit e-listings, how to use all of this to put in a more global use of, of texting. So if any of you guys are sitting on this webinar going, what is this? Um, 
That's okay. We will help you through it. This is when you log into ExitRealty.com. This is the first part of it. So you are looking at basically the inside of Exit Realty's Resource Center, what we call the RC. So there's a bunch of different buttons on here. I'm not going to go into most of these. This is going to be a short uh, webinar today, about 20 to 30 minutes max. If you are with our office, you can go ahead and text me any questions. If you're with our office, you can go ahead and text me on my cell phone any questions. I have my cell phone right next to me right now. So as we go through this, if you don't have your password to anything uh, or you'll need a little help later, Laura can help you with all that. So we're talking about, first of all today, the mobile business card. This is free to all of our agents. You should absolutely have this up and running already. I really hope you do. So we're going to go into mobile business card. So we went under your profile and you go into mobile business card. So it's going to pull up a couple different things. If you do not already have your mobile business card set up, there is a very ugly generic URL. We never want to use that. We're absolutely not interested in using that. So you want to make sure that you are actually using your vanity code. So your vanity code, you're going to text right here. So it's going to be whatever you want it to be. Now, when these first came out, several of us grabbed um, our names quickly. I did not act quick enough and the word Nick was gone. So I had to text my last name and that's okay. So um, the person you're going to talk to or hear from later today, uh, or I'm going to actually show you their product, uh, their, their information, Gus from our office. Gus did not use his first name. He used his first and last name. So we use Gus Mendoza for him. So whatever you want yours to be creative, maybe it's Realtor Diva, like Lana from our office uses, or something like that. I always like to use my name because it's easy to remember. On social media, you're already obviously on your, your information, so they already know who you are. It's just kind of keeping everything branding and consistent. So whatever it is, try to make this match some of your other social media out there, some of your other branding. So again, I chose L-I-B-E-R-T, which was my last name. Now, if you guys would like to see what this looks like, uh, live. If you want to see what this looks like live, go ahead and text L-I-B-E-R-T to 85377. So I've got this highlighted right here. Text L-I-B-E-R-T to 85377 right now. And what that's going, to, that's going to do, that is going to send my mobile business card link to you guys. So this ugly long link up here, we never want you to use that. You use your vanity code that you're going to cuss, you're going to put this right here and then press save text code. The vanity code, whatever you want it to be, press save text code. And once you're in and you save that text code, then you're going to be able to do just what I did. So if you're in a room and you have no business cards, or if you are online and you want to be able to have everyone get your information, here it is right here. So text LIBERT, L-I-B-E-R-T, to 85377, and you'll have an example of what the business card looks like. So then below it's saying, okay, well, let's further customize it. Now, if you're wondering what it looks like and you have not texted me this yet, um, this is what it looks like, my business card. It's got the exit logo. It's got links to all my different social media. It's got my photo and then all these other cool things below. So if I want to go in and I want to send this card myself manually to somebody else, I can press send card from the link when I link it to myself. But I really don't see why I would want to do that. I'd obviously want to have everyone else text their information or my information to their own phone. So text that 85377 and then you would go ahead and they would get this information. It would look exactly like this. So they could download the card. They can call me. They can just press that button on their phone when this link pops up and they can call me. They can go to my website or your website. So for those of you that are at our office, we have a website for every one of you, of course, and that links to the website. They can click email me and it emails them right from their phone. It could, uh, they can text me. And again, they can send the card to someone else. So suppose they saw a listing that I was advertising online and I said, oh, text L-I-B-E-R-T to 85377 for more information. It's got all of that there. Now, one thing I have not done yet that I need to do I need to have it show my listings. So if I'm talking about my listings, I've got to show my listings. So there's a couple different things I can add here. So when you have originally texted people or they've texted your information, you're going to turn around and then you want to obviously have this nice default message. So the default message should be something like, thanks for requesting my business card. Please view it by using the link below. 
So you can just literally cut and paste it or type it in here. I've already done it. I literally cut and pasted that exact same thing and then changed the name Fred to Nick. And then I clicked save. And then below it there, there was a link to my business card. The about me section, I did not include. Um, I, that is on there uh, if you have it in your profile. And we're going to talk about your profile in a second. The about me section, I did not personally include. I did do a view my site link. It's up to you whether you include the about me section. And then view my listings. Now, I don't know why I didn't have this on here earlier. I absolutely want to do that. I'm going to save that. And so in the future, now look, it automatically adjusted my business card and added my listings. Awesome. So now when I say, hey, guys, text my text library to 85377 on any of my social media or if I'm talking in a group, they have a link and then they can go to my listings. So I want to talk to you a little bit about your profile because your profile does link to all this. So see these logos over here. I always want to do that social media wheel of life. Like we talk about sometimes in our office, that training that I've had for you before, uh, social media wheel of life. When I talk to you or I talk to you online or I'm sending you this mobile business card, I want you to get the full picture of me. I want you to know me on all levels and in all media. So you've got to have these links right here. How do you get these links? And how do you get this photo? So if you guys are newer to exit or kind of uh, out of the loop, you want to go into, before you even start working on your business card, you want to go into over here, the little My Profile area. And before you even click on My Business Cards, you want to click on My Profile, okay? You move this stuff over here. And then My Profile. Let's give me a minute. There we go. Okay. My Profile section. Uh, the bunch of this stuff we're not going to worry about today. Public Profile, though. Again, this connects to your business card. Social media links, here they are. Personal links. Now, I've got a couple extra screens on here or buttons on here because I am the franchisee of the office. You guys won't have these extra ones. You guys will just have personal links. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+. I would recommend maybe even closing this down uh, in terms of uh, narrowing down in terms of Google+, and Active Rain. People aren't really using those anymore as much. Um, if you're active on both of those, great, add them. But LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, most of you are on Facebook, and you should be on LinkedIn. Those ones you're absolutely going to want to do. Um, and then photo. Okay, that's my old photo. I really need to get the new photo. You can just click change photo right there. If you don't have one yet, go ahead and get one. Bios. Oh, my gosh, guys. If you guys don't have your bio up, you're missing out because the ExitRealty.com corporate site gets a lot of traffic, and you should have a bio pre-cut and paste that goes from your Facebook to your LinkedIn to your everywhere else. You should be able to tell your story in 20 seconds about what makes you amazing. Now, I need to redo my bio, to be honest with you. Uh, this is an older bio. Uh, it's got some stuff in here that I don't find as exciting as I used to, but uh, all of us need to have an effective bio. Here's what's cool. You don't know how to do a bio? Exit's got a tech and R on that. They have so many different tech and R's for you. You can click on that right there for tech and R, and they'll take you to the link. If you want to see a bunch of other training, go in here and click training. So that's a story for another day, though. So here's the things you would want to adjust. Social media links, photo, bio. Then you would go ahead and click save changes. Now, notice this right here. Would you like administrators from your brokerage to be able to edit your profile? Yes. Guess what? Laura can help you with this, guys. That's why we have her here. So Laura can help you with your digital business card. So one more time, I'm going to go back to the digital business card. And as soon as this loads here, I'm going to remind you of the basic things we're going to do. And then we're going to show you a couple other things. So again, we're going to choose our custom vanity code. So it might be your last name, might be your first name, might be one of your branding ideas. Um, QR codes, people really are not using those anymore. We're going to talk a little bit more about why not later. And then again, if you want to do your about me section and view my site, absolutely you want to put that in there and view my listings and that's it. So that's the mobile business card, but how are we going to use the mobile business card? I am going to show you. So again, if you're out and about and you have a bunch of people you're trying to talk to, or you're making a introduction of yourself, uh, in a, in a larger group. Uh, that's great. You can just go ahead and say, hey, for my information, text my name or whatever you're saying your vanity code is to 85377. That number does not change. We all have that same number. It's just you choose your custom code. Then when you're on social media, so Gus from our office has been by far the best person uh, to implement this. 
Gus, great example, right at the top of his Facebook. New listing, not on MLS yet. In hot Austin area, text Gus Mendoza, one word, to 85377 for more details. Look at that. So he's sitting there telling people, look, I'm a tech savvy agent. I've got a text message code. Get that up there for more information. And guess what? For Gus, then he gets their information as well. It tells him who's texting him. So that is a huge thing. And that should be on all your social media. You should be able to get your information out to people and but then have a call to action. And what a great call to action instead of saying message me, hey, text me, I'm available. I'm tech savvy, I've got some cool technology for you. Very few people out there are doing this. And again, that goes straight to the digital business card and it's gonna look like this down here like we showed you earlier. Let's think even further outside the box. Um, I'm not sure if you all at Exit Strategy are using Exit e-listings to the fullest, but beyond these vanity codes that go directly to your digital business card, you actually have a text message code for each property. You have a website and a text message code for each property. So we talked about the signage looking uh, like this, where you've got the, uh, for full details, text EXIT to 85377. The benefit of that is that you're not getting custom signage constantly. You can move this from place to place and you're not, uh, you can buy your signs in bulk. But sometimes you really want to do something custom for a listing. You want to do something special. Well, guess what? There's a lot of different special stuff right in EXIT e-listings. So how do we get to EXIT e-listings? Quick tutorial on that. You go into EXIT Realty, you just go to home. Once you log into EXIT Realty as an agent, just give this a second to load. By the way, I have a great question already. We're gonna go over the questions in a minute. Um, so thank you for the person that texted me a question. If you are with our office, just text me any other questions you've got as we go along here. We'll answer them at the end. So you go into to get to e-listing. So we already talked about the business card, that's up here. But down here in, in e exitize me, that is where e-listings is. That's where promo shop is. That's where all of our little tools live. Uh, if you're not with our office, you probably don't have e-listings uh, or you have not paid for it yet at our office. Everybody gets it. Uh, that is a part of your package here for free. So same way with promo shop. We're going to go into e-listings. We're going to talk about some custom text message codes for our listings, custom text message codes for our listings. Uh, if you've ever wondered what e-listings is and you are kind of still a little bit lost on it, no problem. There's a webinar every Friday. Click on that webinar right here and it'll tell you how to get into that webinar. Uh, there's some other great information. You can download a flyer about them or the video. Um, but again, that webinar is great. We're going to go ahead and log in. E-listings always open it on its own uh, spot here. And again, it's another reminder of the weekly webinar. It's about an hour long, everything eListings does. Today, all we're talking about is text message codes. So we're going to go into tools. We go here under the little menu, into tools. And then we're going to go into texting codes. Each property has its own texting code. So here are the codes. So these are my active listings right now and a few that I probably need to delete out of here. Uh, if you're not familiar with exit e-listings, every single one of your properties, when you put it in the MLS, about 24 to well, maybe 48 hours later, a business day or so, uh, it will go into exit e-listings automatically. You do not have to load these in there anymore. If you are not putting something on the MLS, you can still have it in e-listings. Uh, if you're not putting something on the MLS, it will not work with the exit generic code. So the code that we saw on the sign over here, it won't work with this sign because this sign is fed by the MLS. But it will go ahead and work on exit e-listings if you manually enter. So you don't have to manually enter things if you have put it in the MLS. But if you're keeping it as a pocket listing, you have to manually enter it. And that's a story for another day. What we're gonna do here is here are the pin codes. So for example, here's the pin code right here that I'm highlighting for two East Oak. So if you wanted to say to everybody, hey, I've got a new listing and you didn't wanna text message people the business code or your business card, you're gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna text this number. So you would say text E211897 to 51004. So if you notice, this is a different code. 51004 is for exit e-listings. That has nothing to do with corporate. Uh, that is just for exit e-listings. 51004 is the code. And then again, you would. this is the specific PIN number or code that you would text to 51004. So you've got a custom text for each one of these, which then links to your 
e-listings website for each listing. Did you know you had a website for each listing? Okay, let's go back into listings and actually we're going to go into tools again. And you've got all these different things in here. Um, listing websites, uh, webcasts, flyers, all of that stuff. Really, really neat things. And again, you can go in here and click on listing websites and it'll give you all the different websites that you've got. Um, I actually like to go in and here we go. You can sit there. Now that's asking you to buy the domain. We don't want to do that. So we're going to actually go in under tools and we're going to go into links. So that was the wrong link. This is the actual right link. So we're going to go into tools and links and you are going to go in and each property has its own information. So I'm going to go into my South Michigan Avenue one. Okay. Every single one of you have a website for every single one of your listings for free. So let's go ahead. And I like website version, the, the original version. There's version one I don't care for as much. Um, here it is. So we're going to go in and you can always preview it. And it's going to open up and it's got all your pictures already loaded into it. You're in property information. And again, there we go again. There's your codes. So if you go and you see this information, uh, as a client, they can forward it to other people, they can share it. And again, you can do all this too online. And by the way, it's tracking on the back end the hits. It's tracking on the back end the hits to this property. And you can go into uh, the front end of your uh, exit e listings and it's tracking all of this information. So it's really neat, neat stuff. If you've ever not done this, go in and look at the bottom and you'll see all what's going on with exit e listings. And you can track what's going on with your websites as well. So you just go on your comprehensive website statistics and it's going to tell you all the different tours and you notice different things going on. Uh, Monday, I've had some little bit of activity. Text requests, it'll tell you that. Um, so you've really got to go in here and use this stuff. People aren't just going to be texting you unless you're talking about it. So that goes back to our social media example. If you're not talking about these e-listings codes, if you're not talking about your digital business card, no one will ever know to use it. So follow Gus's lead and be talking about your mobile business card and your websites, all these tools that are given to you every day. You should be talking about these almost every day on social media. If you're going to talk about financing programs or anything else, this would be a great post. Uh, you could use this exact same type of uh, commentary they text Gus Mendoza to 85377 for more information on this lending program or more information on this open house, anything like that. So I'm just trying to get you guys to use your text message codes more. People are very averse these days to picking up the phone. We want to try to work with them across all media. So we've got a question from somebody here. Since you've moved to Smart Signs, have you noticed an uptick in contacts from sign contacts or about the same as before the Smart Signs? I've gotten a lot more texts from people. Um, the, the, what we have as an issue is when, and let's go back to the signage example for a second. I think this is a great uh, thing to talk about. I want to open up my sign again and show it to everybody. So here we are in my signage. Um, when I just had my phone number, uh, when I just had my phone number on my signs, and actually I think I can go into an old file of mine. I can show you some other, uh, kind of the history of my signs and let's see what we can find here. Hold on one second. So let's go into the history of my signs. I think it's under my group names. So here's an old, old, old signage from back in the day. So this was back uh, when Ryan Lee was on my team. And I guess this is actually before I even owned the office. This is a fun one. And there was our Google Voice number. We we're already using Google Voice. And we, had, we did have exit e-listings uh, already, but then we were trying to refer people to these, um, to these uh, websites that we were doing. Here's the problem with a website. A website, people go to it, but they can't, that you can't track that. If people text a code, people can track that, you can track that. You can convert those leads. I love giving out information, so I don't want you to ever have a generic, boring sign. But at the same time, I want you to be able to track the sign. So the issue we used to have with the QR codes, they were great when people had the downloaded apps. Now you don't want to download an app. Nobody wants to download another app, but they want people, they want information on properties. And we want to be able to track who these people are. So a text message code tracks who that cell phone number is. So you can pick up a phone and say, hey, I noticed you texted me on my listing. Can I get you more information? And then you can turn around and convert that into a buyer 
uh, into showings and, and all that good stuff. But you have to have that information. So that's we, what we want. So have my calls gone up? No, my calls have actually gone down. But what's gone up is my text message responses. So I have been able to get more information and more people by doing the text message responses. So please have your phone number on there. That's not going to die out. Uh, but at the same time, if you're online or if you're designing your signs again, think about getting these text message codes on there so you can track people. You want to give information, but you also want to be able to track people. And this is a great advertisement for your sellers too. P pick up one of your signs and bring it to the listing appointment. Say, here's what's different about my sign. I don't use a dumb sign. I use a smart sign. And when I use my smart signs, I can track what's going on. So think about that. When I use my smart signs, I can track what's going on. Same way with your business cards. If you are going to print out business cards or have them printed out and, and like you used to, you still need them. But think about even on there having the information. Text library to 85377 for all the links to my properties or some sort of active information even on your business card. So you're handing out a paper business card, you can still have this information on it. Uh, put this in your email signature. So put this in your email signature. Uh, text LIBERT to 85377, and you can have my mobile business card so that people aren't sitting there trying to write down information off your emails that they printed out. Uh, all different kinds of ways to utilize this technology. Um, thank you for the person that texted me that question. Uh, if there are no further questions right now, we are going to go ahead and end, but I will tell you, um, if you're not already doing this, if you're not already talking about it, you are missing out. All of this technology is free through Exit, follow Gus's lead, uh, watch what I'm trying to do online, and uh, it's better leads, it's better conversion, it's showing that you are a tech-savvy agent, uh, and it may beat out other people when you are on a listing appointment or even buyer appointment. So go ahead and use this stuff, guys. That's what it's there for. Thanks so much.